Hello again. Welcome to part two of our tutorial covering the features of the Easy Edit application in Video Studio X3. If you remember from part one, Easy Edit is the editing application that fits in the mid range of features and capabilities. It's also a good place to work in if you're unfamiliar with the features in Advanced Edit, allowing you to gradually advance yourself in the video editing world. Also, if you're in a hurry, it's just a faster way to get the job done. All right, here's where we left off in part one. I'm back in the media organizer after trimming some excess off of one of my clips. Okay, I'll now drag the clips I want to use down to the media tray and let go. Go into the Create menu up here. I choose Video. I will attempt to name my movie. I'm going to choose a widescreen and a high definition version. And I only have one style here. Now I'm going to be loading more styles in later, and I'm actually saving a tutorial for that. Now I click Go to Movie. Now this interface might be a little different than what you're used to. There is no multi-channel timeline. It's meant to be basic for newer video editors, but still allow for the addition of music and titles, adjusting styles, and doing some voiceovers. For example, you can easily see the flow of my movie in the single timeline here, including the transitions between the scenes. I can change the transitions from the Hidden Settings tab over here on the right, along with other choices such as setting the duration of any images I'm using in my production, mixing the sound so I choose how much audio I want from the video clip and the template, anything in between, and also as you can see here, I can make my music fit the video or the video fit the music. Now, this changed all the transitions in my entire movie. If you want to have individual transitions at different locations, you'll need to do that in the advanced editor. I've also noticed I've made a huge error in this clip of my daughter playing Maestro. It's in the wrong orientation. Have you ever done this? Using your compact digital camera, you turn it on its side to shoot a short video, not realizing that you can't do that? So how do you fix this? Well, you know what? There are forums, articles, hacks, and plugins to fix this on both the Mac and the PC. But guess what? It's a built-in feature here in Video Studio. Watch this. Again, I'll double-click on the clip, and it goes to my edit mode. Like I've mentioned before, you can edit a clip by double-clicking on it no matter where it's located. Using the rotate button, I fix it just as easily as I would rotate a picture. And as usual, it actually leaves the original clip untouched in my media organizer and makes this a new clip instead. Now I'll go back. OK, see what else I can adjust here. The answer to this is at the bottom of our screen here. The media's tray still allows me to edit the clips as you just saw, but I can also rearrange the clips and the movie will recreate itself. So as you can see here, this movie is now in the middle of my production instead of more towards the end. I can even change the style at this point if I wanted to. As far as titles go, select the Title tab and you can edit anywhere a title is located. If I return to the beginning, it displays where your title is and indicates how long it lasts. Double click the title in the timeline to go to it and highlight it for editing like so. Want to add another one? Well, let's go to where you want it. The easiest way to do that is to go back to Media here, click a clip that I want to add a title to, and the playback head jumps to the beginning of it. Now, go to My Titles, find one that I want to use, click the plus button to add it to the current position, and then I can position my text, and I can also stretch it on the timeline for as long as I want it to be in my movie. Simple. Under Soundtracks, change whatever is already in here, or add additional clips, which will play one after the other. To make sure the audio ends when the video ends, again, like I showed you before, you can make sure the video fits the music, or the music fits the show, in which case the music will end just when the show does. In the voiceover area, you can record a comment right over your video. You can see the audio levels being adjusted while I talk. 
You simply hit record, wait, talk, stop recording, play it back. Doesn't get any easier than that. Okay, we're ready to output our file. You simply click output. And choose one of the many choices Video Studio X3 allows you. To view the tutorial output options in EasyEdit to learn more about these choices. Well, thanks again, and we'll see you again real soon.